This video will show you how to use ultrasound to find the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh, also known as the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. If you like what you see, please do like and subscribe to the channel. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh is a sensory branch of the lumbar plexus, specifically the posterior divisions of L2 and L3. And as you can see here, it's responsible for this area of innovation on the lateral aspect of the thigh, which can be useful for hip surgery incisions and for skin grafting from this area. Let's now take a look at the anatomy in this area in a bit more detail, and we'll zoom in here on the groin. Hopefully there'll be some anatomy here that you are familiar with. We'll start off here with the femoral vein, followed by the femoral artery, and lateral to that, the femoral nerve. And you will recall that the femoral nerve lies on psoas and iliacus, forming the iliopsoas muscle, which is highlighted here. As we move more lateral from iliopsoas, you recall we have sartorius, and even more lateral to that, we have the tensor fascia lata muscle. And in between those two is where you will see the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. And we aim to deposit local anesthetic on this region over here. Let's have a look at this anatomy again. We'll zoom in now and hopefully you can appreciate the sartorius muscle. Next to the sartorius muscle and deep to it is the rectus femoris. And even more lateral to that is the tensor fascia lata. So let's highlight that, those muscles and those structures there. And you can see how the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve lies in that window between sartorius and tensor fascia lata. What does this look like with ultrasound? Well, I'll show you. We're going to start off here now with the probe placed medially on the groin, ideally over the femoral artery. The first thing we can do is see if we can identify the femoral vein, release the pressure, see the femoral vein, the femoral artery is lateral to that, move a bit more lateral, you'll see the femoral nerve lying directly on top of the psoas muscle, invaginating it to a certain degree. We'll keep moving laterally and we'll start to see sartorius sneaking in over the surface of ilia psoas. Deep to that is rectus femoris and then we're going to go over towards tensor fascia lata. And then we come back and we're looking for a fat filled tunnel between tensor fascia lata and the sartorius muscle. And you can slowly start to see something that I think looks a little bit like an eye. If I highlight that to you there, that is the area where the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve lies. And all we need to do, bring a needle in from lateral to medial and inject some local anesthetic to surround that structure. It takes no more than about two to three mils of local anesthetic. I hope you found that video useful.